everybody, it's Brooke. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And this is the video explaining what to do with the pocket puzzle packs if you brought, bought them from my sale last week. Sorry for the delay in the video, uh, but you know, life and stuff. So let me get my things out of the way and show you what we're doing. These were packs that I made about four years ago and they sold really well in my Etsy shop. They sold really well live. So I made more because I kept selling out. Thought we were all done with that project and I opened a box last week uh, and that said little golden books and I found some more cut files. So those all got sold last week at my live sale but I did promise a video showing what to do with them. So that's what this video is. If you're interested in getting a set of these, shoot me a message on Etsy, which is linked down below, and I can certainly hook you up. But I'm not planning on making more to go into the Etsy shop as of now, unless you ask. Okay, so what you get in a pack, and all the packs were different patterns. They are, some are double-sided, some are uh, white on the back. So you get a pile of offcuts, no matter what paper it was. These are just some of the scraps that were left. And I included those because you can do all kinds of fun things with them. So that's one element. Another element are journal cards or cut-aparts from the paper. And I did try to make it so everything coordinated. Okay, so there's that. That actually might have been an offcut. And there's one there. So you get journaling cards or cut-aparts or both. And I think we counted and you get at least 25 pieces in the bundle. Um, so then you get some little bits. Let me get these out, off the top. Um, you get some little bits, one of which says, Wild at Heart, which I just love. I told all the gals that this is how I feel right now, so it's appropriate. So you get that. And then you get these two little label shapes. And this one says Joy on one side, but if you don't like that, you can turn it over and have a white side, and they nest like that, or you can use them separately, whichever you like. And then there are just some of these, like big label spots where you can journal or put a picture or whatever you wanna do, turn them into a pocket, and they are separate. And I tried to make everything coordinating so that um, you could use them in all kinds of different ways. This paper pack was a Michaels paper pack a long time ago. Okay, so those are those little pieces. And then, let me pull out my sample paper here. So this is just a folded piece of um, copy paper. It's a, you know, like the normal average journal size. And this is what you get for pockets. So the first one we'll look at comes like this, and it is scored right here in the middle, so you simply fold it in half, and then you have this cute little file folder look. There is a thumb notch. This one you could do the other direction too because it's got pattern on both sides. Uh, and this one you could glue on a page like this. You could glue three sides, have a tuck in the back, and then either have that open, so that would all be open. You could sew journaling pages in there and glue it onto a page like that, make this into a tuck. I guess actually it should be that way if you're going to do that, huh? To use that notch so you would glue it on three sides bind in some pages there and you'd have a little notebook that opened up and a tuck on that side but if you're still talking about doing it this way uh, you could glue this pocket shut and then glue it on three sides and you'd have a double pocket lots of things you can do with that piece uh, this is the next piece that you get and this one again is scored here and here so you fold it like that and it makes like a little fold of note thingy. Um, it comes right down to the bottom. This one you could put on your page. You might need to trim this one down just a hair, but it, you could glue it on three sides and it would, be, it would be a pocket in the back. You could use one of your labels like that to be the closure, you know, where you would have to flip that out to get it open. Um, and again, you could have it open like that, cut a thumb notch there and have a pocket, in, you know, glue these sides, have a pocket there. Uh, it could open up all the way for journaling. 
lots of different things. It could also be oriented this direction. Whatever works for you. It's like a puzzle. You can put it together all different ways. Okay, and then you get this, which is a pocket piece. And this goes, this can go on a multitude of places. It could go, oh, nope, it's a little big there, but it could go here. And so you'd have another pocket, and if that were a pocket, it would be like a double pocket, triple pocket, however you want to do it. Uh, it could go on this piece. It could go on a corner. It could go in the middle. It could go on the inside. Um, whatever you think works. Uh, this piece comes like this. And it's scored here and here. So you fold it like that, and then you fold it like that, and it's a faux envelope. So again, you could use one of your labels to hold it closed. Whoops, that's upside down. To hold it closed, and then you just glue down the bottom half, and it would tuck in there to close. You could, um, that would be if you glued it on all three sides, that would close. You could glue it three sides on the journal page, glue two sides, have a big tuck, glue three sides, have another pocket back behind. And again, on the uh, double-sided scrapbook paper, you can flip it around and use whichever side you like. So that's what that guy is. And the, it's not limited to these, you guys. You do whatever you think of to do. This was just sort of a jumping off point. Okay, and then this piece is scored right here and right here, and that makes kind of a library pocket. So you can do it like that and uh, just glue the bottom and you have a library pocket here so that's kind of handy. Um, what else could you do? You could actually put, could you? No, I guess that wouldn't work so well. I guess if you wanted to, you could, nah, that's not going to work. Never mind, scratch that. Um, so that is what that is. I guess that's about, about the only thought I have on that one. And again, if it's double-sided, you can use whichever side you like better. And then you get this piece, which is scored here and it's scored here and here. So you fold it like this, and then you take this edge and fold along these score lines. Okay, so you're making like a Z. Hold it up. See how that is? So then when you glue it down on your page, and you open it up, your little oval flips. So you could glue a picture in there, you could glue a picture on the other side here. You could put a tab on here. You might want to cut it a little smaller. Uh, and when you glue it to the page, if you glue here and here, oh, I'm sorry about my hands, incidentally. I can't even talk about it. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, glue it here, here, and here. Then you have a pocket back here where you can put a tag or whatever, or just glue it on two sides, and then you have a wider tuck. So that is that. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions at all, you make sure to leave me a comment down below, shoot me a message in my Etsy shop, however you'd like to get in touch with me. Uh, and again, if you'd like one of these, if you'd like me to cut more, please let me know, either in the comments or via a message. I appreciate it. And for those of you who bought these the other night, thank you so much. I hope you have fun with them. And I will talk to you guys really soon. Have a wonderful afternoon, and I'll see you soon. Bye.